this would be pretty if it weren't ugly. I mean, if it weren't... <laughs> Hello friends, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I'm going to unbox this five pound box of jewelry. It's a mystery box. This is from ThreadUp and it's called their DIY Rescue Box. These boxes are sure hard to get these days. I have a couple in my stash, so I decided to pull one out and do a video today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I am a full-time seller on eBay and I love selling jewelry. So I'm always looking for some inventory that I can list in my eBay store when I do these unboxings. I have my handy dandy tools here. I have a loop to magnify. I have a scale to weigh any precious metals if I find any. This is a diamond selector too to test pieces for diamonds and a magnet to see if we might have some precious metals. So all these are down below in my description box and they are affiliate links, but they're for you if you wanna see what I use and get some for yourself. I'm gonna just tear this box open right now and see what we have. Let me pull, put these guys aside real quick. Okay, oops. This is all bagged up. This is what it looks like through the bag. Let's turn it over and get a gander at this side too. Now I'm gonna just dump it all out. I've got a little box over here. Oops, this is a lighter that I had from last week. I put that aside. But I'm gonna put all the box, all the jewelry in this box and start unpacking it and see what we have. Here's the first piece I pulled out because that just reminds me of bubble gum and it looked delicious. So I thought I would start out with this necklace. It is a very definitely a plastic beaded necklace. Very unusual to see one stretch like this. Faux pearls. It's actually very cute as far as the combination. There's a ribbon on here. I don't even know what the situation is, why this is on here. I'm going to cut that off right now. So there you have it, cute components. I don't know about the stretchy part. I don't think I'd be comfortable with that, but someone could certainly turn at that into a very cute necklace. And by the way, if you see anything that you would like to purchase from the video, send me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. Here is my email address on the screen, kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. And I also have it listed down below in the description box. The next piece I'm pulling out is a pair of hoop earrings. Actually, they're quite pretty. Stefan and Company. I've never heard of it. I'll have to look it up. The earrings are really cute though. They are these twisted brass tone or maybe gold tone earrings and the top part is clear crystals. Looks like a brand new pair of earrings. All the crystals look like they're there. So I'll have to look that up, but they're really cute. Here is a choker necklace. It's got three strands of faux leather and then a faux turquoise little pendant or charm in the center. It's new, it's on the card still, and looks like some sort of wholesaler tag on there. The maker is Shang Space, so I'm guessing that's just a very inexpensive made in China piece, but it's cute. It's cute for what it is, fast fashion. The next item that's coming out is this cuff bracelet. It is gold tone and sort of an open work piece. Those remind me of almost like coral or seaweed or maybe even leaves. But I'm wondering, it's a, maybe slightly bent. I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but it might not take too much to get it back into shape. I saw some markings on it. Where is it? There's the mark on the inside of the bracelet, Stella and Dot. I think I should try it on. Here we go. Not bad, even if it's crooked, it's still cute. So I'll see if I can straighten that up and might go in the cell pile. Here's something that came in an organza bag. Do you say organza or organza? I'm not sure. <laughs> I say organza. <laughs> okay, so let's take it out of the bag. And we have ah, two pair of lucite earrings. These are kind of cool. Who sees Pac-Man? I do. Pac-Man earrings. Th these are actually cute. They have like a 
a marbleized finish, almost like a mother of pearl finish in green and gray. No earring backs, but not a big deal. I have plenty of extras. And then another pair of Lucite earrings. Those are awesome. Look at those. So there are asymmetric um, U-shape, asymmetric, maybe it's like a boomerang, I'm not sure. Oops, why don't I come back into focus here? And these are cute, very cute. And these do have earring backs. They're not matching earring backs, but they're earring backs. When I first pulled this ribbon out, I thought, uh, dirty ribbon necklace. But check this out. Look at this glorious pendant. This is a sparrow, I believe. All crystals. We have baguettes, triangles, squares, round crystals, and the bird has a red crystal eye. This is so lovely. And there is a flat curb chain on this. Here's a look at that chain. There's not a thing wrong with it. Now, as I said, the ribbon is in pretty bad shape. Now, you could either cut the ribbon off or you could wash it. Some people don't mind it. It probably also needs pressing. So there's a look at that, and I think it probably would come out. Here is the up-close view, and I'm going to turn it over so you can see what the other side looks like. It is lined with a suede or faux suede it feels like actually it feels like suede lining on the back it's very well made and i'm delighted that all the crystals are there now i cannot find a maker's mark on this anywhere but this is just way too special to not be some sort of brand so i am going to go online right now and see if i can find this by doing a reverse photo lookup and I'll put on the screen right here what I found. Maybe I can find the actual listing or listings for whatever this is and get more information. Next piece coming out is a stretch bracelet that is definitely a costume piece, but I think it's really lovely. I don't get too excited about stretch bracelets normally. But I love all the components on here. This is a glass, I believe it's glass, painted bead. And I think this one's plastic. And there are all kinds of cool disc beads in there mixed with like brass tone and gold tone. There's some silver tone. Look at that bead. So there even, there's even a tassel. It's pretty good shape. A couple of them got kind of mushed up there, but I think you could straighten that out. So this is very cool. I like this a lot. I'm going to try this on. There it is. So cool. I love it. It's very sweet. This is a really pretty statement necklace, but it's broken. It has become unattached there. It would have to be soldered back. Uh, but you can see all the very pretty components. There's a floral theme here, black enameled flower with crystals, a blues, different color blues and purples. All the crystals are there, but unfortunately this one's broken. So, and this looks like it came from, let's see, the loft. There's the loft tag. I will be putting this in the craft lot. This is a good time to explain what a craft lot is. I have gotten some comments asking what a craft lot is. It's jewelry like this. It could be broken. Um, or it could be wearable. It could be something that just can't take the time to sell. But crafters like buying these things to repurpose the pieces. They harvest the stones. They harvest the possibly the other components like the clasps. And they make their own creations. So this one will go in the craft lot. Here's a piece that will also go in the craft lot. Uh, these components here, these little dangles, they're plastic and they've got a lot of wear. Um, that's why it's going in the craft lot. Aside from the fact this little rope is pretty dirty. Nice crystals on this one though. Here's a look at those crystals. And I may just take those off and put it in a rhinestone lot if I have the time. We'll see. But in any case, this is not going to get sold. This is going in some sort of craft lot. Here is a very lovely piece. This is a crystal cross and this part is clear and this is like a purple so i don't know if that's amethyst and i believe that center stone there is amethyst i'm going to give you a closer look here 
Let's take you to the side view first and get this as focused as I can. So there it is up close and here's the back and I noticed on this bale it's really hard to see. It's real hard to see. Let's see if I can show you. Oops. Yeah, it, it says 14 karat gold filled on that bale. So, and then it's on this chain. I don't know if it's originally came on this chain or not, but the chain is also lovely. And here is a closer look at that chain. This one does have a spring clasp and I couldn't find any markings on that spring clasp. I think this is such a beautiful piece. I'm going to for sure put that in the cell pile. This is a fashion piece. I am a sucker for this color. I love this turquoise teal color. And this one's kind of fun because it has teardrop faceted plastic beads. They're all plastic beads. And these round ones here, the chain is in decent shape. It's gold tone. There's not a maker's mark on this. It does have movement, makes some little clanky, dangly sounds, and it's kind of a fun piece. When I dumped all this out into the bucket or into my little box, I saw all these bags. I picked all of them out. They look like earrings, so I'm just letting you know that I'm going to unbag them all and spread them across the table, and we'll take a look at all of them. Okay, so these are all the earrings, and there's also a ring that was in with those pair of earrings. I'm going to take the magnet, or maybe I shouldn't because if it all sticks to it, then I have to unstick it. So <laughs> let's start with the paparazzi. So nothing exciting. That's probably going to go in a craft lot, a pair of paparazzi earrings. Next is this pair of earrings. I don't believe they're sterling. They're cute. A little bit of wear on them. I think they're nickel. I don't believe they're sterling silver. They don't look like they are. So they will likely go in the craft lot. They're cute though. Next is this pair of earrings. They are ivory colored enamel flower earrings and they definitely look like costume pieces. A little fashion piece so putting that in the craft. Here is a pair of crystal studs. They are set in gold tone and I will put the take this earring back off to see if I can find anything there. I don't see anything on the earring itself. They do stick to the magnet so they're going to go in the craft lot. These look so interesting. I'm saving them for last. <laughs> These are black enamel cross earrings. Very inexpensive, really lightweight. They're going in craft. These are also very lightweight. Here's a little ring with a star and like a, let's see, it's like a little black crystal under it. That's kind of cute. And then these are little crystal drops. I don't think I can get it to turn over, but there's a crystal on the other side. It's just being stubborn. There it goes. They're going in the craft lot. Now I might try the magnet because those look kind of nice. Hmm, let me take a closer look at these. They don't stick to the magnet and I don't see any markings on them. I will go ahead and test them and let you know if I found them to be any sort of precious metal. I don't think they are though, but they are very pretty. These are fun. These are gold tone, large statements, the hoop earrings and uh, they're from Forever 21. I think you can see that stamped on the card right there. Now it's time to take a look at these guys. These intrigued me a lot. They have a brushed gold finish and they are clip-ons. I do see something right there. I have to go in and look closer. I finally got a better look at that. I don't know if you can see it. It says Clara Studio and these came like this with a $65 price tag on the back. So I have to look into it. They are very well made. 
They don't have any wear on them. They might be brand new and they are very vintagey. So I'm in love with these earrings. I think they're very pretty. There are a few stretch bracelets in the lot. Here's another one. This is pretty. These are black lava beads and there are a few silver spacers in there. There is something on this bead right here, this round bead. It's kind of tough to show because of the reflection on the lights, but do you see where there's a Y and then an L? So I'll have to look into that. I don't know what that stands for, but the bracelet itself is in good shape. I may as well try the magnet on these silver beads and I am not getting an attraction there, so I'll have to look further into that. If you happen to know what YL is, could you leave a comment for me down below in the comment section? I've never run across that before. Here are some pieces going in the craft lot. Here's an example of something that some of the beads are turning and some are not, so someone could definitely use the ones that are not turning or just paint them or do whatever. Use your imagination. Uh, this chain is turning and it's got this little bar pendant with crystals. This is little glass beads. The air wire itself is turning, but the components here, they definitely could be used. And this is kind of cool. This is, well, it was a stretch bracelet. <laughs> it's stretched out to its limit, uh, but I like these components here. So this could be re-strung and you're good to go. Although there is some wear on some of these. Don't they remind you of spiders, or at least by themselves, like individually, they look like spiders to me. Altogether, not so much. Anyway, all that's going in the craft lot. Next is this necklace. It's super dainty. It's got a very small box chain, and on that tag is stamped Disney. On the other side, There's a stamp that says LA925 Italy. Now we have a spring clasp here, and then this little silver heart pendant with crystals. It is double-sided, so there's crystals on both sides. And that, that just doesn't look like it belongs on the necklace. Maybe it does, but oh, I, I can see it is sticking to the magnet, so it might not belong on there. And as far as the chain itself, I'm sure that is sterling silver. I may take that necklace or the pendant rather off and keep this chain aside for a different pendant. Here's a very long necklace. I'm not seeing a maker's mark here, lobster clasp. And I do like the chain, the oval chain. We have a silver rope chain and the gold tone. However, there is some wear, especially on the gold tone. And this is gonna go in the craft lot. This is a very pretty wrap bracelet. It's made with a light tan cord. Looks like a cotton cord. And there are these beautiful clear with AB finish crystals there. And they are combined with these blue crystals. They're all faceted. This is a very spring and summery kind of bracelet. So it goes on and on like this. And then at the very end is the button closure. There's the button closure. The stamp reads Handmade Katie Soleil. Soleil? Not sure how to say that. There it is on. So pretty. I love this. And I have mine on the very last loop. So there are three loops. You can adjust it to fit your own wrist. And this is quite pretty. Here are all the carded earrings, at least what I found so far in the lot. Again, we have the Stefan and Company, which I haven't heard of. I'll look it up brand new earrings, um, statement earrings for sure. These are just little dangles with faux pearls and Sonoma, which is a Kohl's brand. So there's a $12 price on that. And then the rest of these have these just like codes. Well, this one doesn't have anything, but they have codes on the back. This one does. So I don't know uh, if these were samples or what they might've been, but they're pretty. Here's a close look at these earrings. A closer look at these and the little dangles. Here is a cuff bracelet. There's a J. Cruz stamp inside and it's a polished gold tone and it has waves. At first when you see it, it looks like it's damaged, but this is the way it's made and I actually think it's cool. So it doesn't have, well, it has very light surface scratches in there. Hard to see really. Let's see if I can fit my big hand through there. 
ouch, I can't. <laughs> I can't fit my big hand through there. I'm going to measure that. I do have big hands. So let's see, we have, this looks like two and a half inches. I believe it's two and a half inches each way. Yeah, two and a half inches, but wow, I didn't know that I couldn't fit that in there. I guess I couldn't fit into Cinderella's slipper either. <laughs> For sure, I couldn't. Coming out next is this multi-strand necklace. The beads on this are plastic, but I'm telling you, even in person, they really look like adventuring. And this is a brand new piece. The B there stands for Bancroft. I have sold Bancroft before. This is just lovely. How many strands do we have here? One, two, three, four. This is five strands. I'm gonna lay this down. There it is. It's amazing how these plastic beads look so much like the natural adventuring bead, even in real life, even right here in person. I really like the necklace a lot. Here's a bracelet. It has a magnetic clasp. There are very thin pieces of faux leather. Some have silver studs. There's one in here. This one right here has crystals on it. All different shades of green. And it's definitely a little fashion piece, but it's very cute. It looks new. It just looks a little bit mashed because it's been in the box. but probably would be pretty easy to get that back into shape. Just wrap it around something round for a couple days and it's probably good to go. Cute piece though. This next piece is a J. Crew necklace. I like the colors on this. There are baguette crystals as well as other shaped crystals. I like the colors a lot. That neon orange with the pink and then the muted green and the blue. Uh, let's take a closer look. I'm noticing that there is a missing crystal right there, unless it's floating around here somewhere when I emptied the box, uh, the bag out into the box. We'll see. But in any case, this particular piece is showing wear. Now this chain looks almost all silver, but you can see some slight gold. There are parts of it that look like shiny silver, like brand new silver almost. But nope, it's supposed to be gold tone, so there is wear on it. There's a J. Crew jewelry tag there. So I'm thinking this is going in the craft lot. Pretty thing though, isn't it? Here's the next piece. This is a necklace with such a cool pendant. There are the three flowers in the front. The beads feel like plastic. Uh, they remind me of daisies. I don't know what flower exactly that's supposed to be. It's such a pretty pendant. These plastic beads are faceted and they are linked together. Let me show you the other side. So that's what that looks like. That's how it's made. It's a very striking piece and the chain that it's strung on looks brand new. It's very brilliant gold. This piece doesn't look like it's ever been worn at all. And look what we have here, guys. That is a Kate Spade. There's the jewelry tag up close. Kate Spade, New York. And also see the little spade charm next to it? I am very happy with the necklace. Very sweet necklace. I'm happy with the box so far. What do you guys think? Apparently I did miss one pair of carded earrings. This one's on a card that says Genuine Indian Handcrafted Sterling Silver. So this is corn. This is corn with a faux turquoise cabochon. Here's what the setting looks like from the side. I'm going to take the magnet to these. There is no attraction. I'm going to take one of the earrings off the card and look to see if there are any marks. Here's what the bottom of the earrings look like, and I'm not seeing a mark. Now, at first, it looks like there is something there, but that's not. That's just uh, marks on the silver itself. There is no maker's mark on there. The ear wire is slightly bent, but that's not a problem. That can be easily fixed. And the back of the earring, you can see it is stamped 925. These are awfully cute. I'm sure someone would love these. All of these bangles are going in the craft lot. They are very lightweight. A couple of them are bent up. And then there are these that are ivory colored. Two are solid and one has texture. This is a necklace 
made with plastic beads, but don't they look like they're glass? They're almost like a glass foil. They have a really cool texture to them. And on each side or up the, up the neck, um, you can see that there are some plastic faceted turquoise colored beads. All of this is strung on ribbon. Here's your ribbon and look at the closure. So it's got this plastic snap closure and you don't even have to bother tying the ribbon because it's made to look like it's a bow at the end. <laughs> I'm going to lay this out for you. There it is. I like the design a lot and I especially like these beads right here. Really cool. Now, this necklace would be so much easier to show you on a neck form because of the way it drapes. It's really pretty the way it hangs. So I'm just going to start with the pendants. These are faux turquoise teardrop shaped pendants on these stick links. Really cool. It's a brass tone. I don't know if that's any better. It's a little bit closer. It kind of gives you the idea of the way the pendant hangs. And then here's a look at the rest of the necklace, the chain. I love these little links, these long links. And as you go up the necklace, that changes into this very, very delicate chain. Really cool. This is a really long necklace. I'm not sure how long, maybe 36 inches, could be longer. And at the end, there is a jewelry tag. I'll take a look at that. There's a lobster clasp and an extender. The tag says flea market girl. Huh, I've never heard of that. I'll look it up. But I really like the necklace a lot. It's really different. Let's take a look at some bracelets. They are all going in the craft lot. This one is very pretty actually, but the elastic band is yellowing and I'm, that usually means it's going to dry rot or is dry rotting and it's going to break soon. So all that needs is to get restrung. Next is this cute. It's a wooden mand... What is this called again? Mand mandala? I can't remember what these are called. The adjustable... Um, the adjustable closure there. They are olive green wooden beads. This one is sort of a crochet style macrame. It's cute. It's got black crystals or faux crystals and that too is adjustable. There's really nothing wrong with it. Might need a little cleaning right here in this part but the rest looks pretty clean and this would be pretty if it weren't ugly. I mean if it weren't <laughs> I mean, if it weren't worn, 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 <laughs> this is actually very pretty, but it's so worn. Um, it's just either needs to be painted or there's all sorts of things that crafters can do with this. It's also missing a crystal right here, but that would be an easy replacement. Uh, but you could paint these. I've seen them where you wrap it with fabric. Um, this has no name on it, but yeah, it would be pretty if it weren't worn. <laughs> Here's a cute necklace. It's handmade. It's strung on, a, feels like a cotton cord. And I believe these are real turquoise chips and they are combined with these red dyed nuts or seeds. So it's cute. It's stretched out and that's going in the craft lot. I am loving the pendant on this necklace. Someone took a donut shaped pendant. Now this might be halite. It might be ceramic. I have to look closer at it. And look how they wrapped beads around it as well as this component here, which I think could be could be like coconut. That's what it feels like. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? And they took a cotton cord in brown. We've got some wooden beads here. And the rest is pretty simple. It's the cotton cord with an adjustable, I believe, yeah, this is adjustable. So isn't that sweet? I really, really like this one. Here are more stretch bracelets. These are actually pretty decent. I think these could be turquoise. I don't think they're halite and the way to tell sometimes, and these are too small really to give the example, but you can take a bead and look inside the bead and if you can see white that means it's been dyed and it's likely halite. But this one has a Buddha charm on it, Buddha head. And then the next one is also a natural stone. It might be cryopraise, correct me if I'm wrong, and it has a little lotus charm. Now that charm does have a little bit of wear on it, but the beads are great. And then this one, this yellow one, 
This has some ceramic beads on it in a bright yellow, and it's strung on a brown cord. It's got that adjustable clasp. And this final one, I think, is glass. Uh, it's on a stretch cord. I mean, someone just tied the knot, didn't really bother to trim it down, but not bad, not bad. Um, they kind of would be pretty worn all together. I like these colors together. These are the rings I have found so far in the lot. And let's take a look. This one here has pretty bad wear um, and it's also missing at least one rhinestone. So that's gonna go in the craft lot. This next one is pretty cool. Um, this is what the band looks like. Now there is wear, especially here on the bottom and a little bit on this little piece right here, but I like the stone. Let's see if I can make that more clear for you. There we go. So this is kind of pretty. I'll size that just in case. I don't see any kind of mark in it. And that looks like it is a six and three quarters. Here is a glass ring. It's pretty mod, kind of mid-century, at least it is to me. And it's in pretty good shape. So let's give this a size. Give it a size. <laughs> And the size I am giving it is, this is a seven and three quarters. This is a pretty cool one. Gold tone, filigree work. It's got a round glass stone. And to me, I think it's made to look like an evil eye. But the thing that makes it unique is that most evil eyes are blue. So this bottom part does have wear on it. Some people don't mind that. Actually, the whole band does have wear. I'll size it in case anyone wants to ask about it. And this is a size 8. Another really cool one, very unique, is this one. Now, this one is silver tone, like an antiqued silver tone. It's got a purple enamel center and two clear crystals right there. This is very neat. I like this. This is an adjustable ring. No name on this one either, but it's pretty cool. I'm not the hand model you want, but I know. Now this ring is awesome. This is actually Lucite and it has these crystals on top. It's very square and just really different. So that's neat. I kind of like that. Let's size this one. This one is a size, let's see, this one is a size six and a half. That's cool. Here's another adjustable ring. This has black and clear crystals on it. It's kind of a brass tone. It's in good shape as far as the finish. You can see it's adjustable. And this is pretty cool too. I like that. It's kind of got a pyramid shaped top. And the final ring. The final ring, I think, is my favorite. Look at that setting. It kind of drops down in a concave uh, setting there. And then we have marcasite all around it on each side of the stone. The inside does have a stamp that I think says 925. Let me check that better. And also let me try to clear up the picture for you there. Let's see. See there, I believe that says 925 right there. I'm really liking this ring a lot. I'm not sure what the stone is. It could be crystal. I uh, other my other guesses are none. <laughs> I don't have any other guesses. If you know differently, or if you want to suggest what stone that is, leave me some comments down below. But I'm really liking this ring a lot. I'm going to size it now and see what we got on our hands here. This one is a size seven and three quarters. This is awesome. This is an awesome ring right here. Here's a very cool piece. This necklace is from J. Crew. There's the jewelry tag there and their signature spring clasp. I like a lot about this necklace. First of all, all purple stones at the bottom. And I'm digging that chunky chain. 
Check out this pendant. All purple. It's like a almost like a pinky purple and all of those stones are there. This is so fun. Here's what the chain looks like. Kind of a, an oval chunky chain. Now I am seeing just somewhere on some of these rings that are connecting the larger ovals. So some silver is showing through there, but the place that it's located, I don't think would show much. I'm just loving the necklace. I would definitely wear it. And it looks like it would match my top, my shirt that I have on. It's kind of different from their regular chunky multicolor stones that they have on their statement necklaces. So that's another thing I like about it. Even though it has some wear, I might keep that aside and decide to list it. This one is also J. Crew. Now I haven't seen many just single pendants on a chain from J. Crew. So this is unique. It is, it is to me anyhow. This is awfully cute. This is a yellow enameled starfish pendant. Has some gold tone touches on there. Here is a better look at that pendant and I'm going to turn it over to show you that it's identical on each side. Isn't that cute? Here is a better look at that chain, which is so pretty. It's delicate, but not too delicate. You know it's going to be sturdy around your neck. So I like that, and it's pretty long. And I'm going to guess this one is about 20 inches in length. This is super cute. Great nautical piece. This is a sweet pendant, Angel Wings. It's gold tone, has clear crystals. It's in wonderful shape and it's on somewhat of a delicate chain. It's, this is so sweet. This one has no maker's mark at all. It has a lobster clasp. Here is what the back of the pendant looks like. So it's definitely a costume piece, but I just like it. I like this one a lot. Coming out next is this wide cuff bracelet. And it has like that silver glittery finish on it. It's not actually glitter where it flex, flicks off. Uh, but you can see the finish on that. There is a slight little piece here. I guess you would call it like a crack in the silver part, but it's not that noticeable. At least it's not to me. And it's a fun bracelet. It's just a fashion piece, little costume piece, but I like it because it's different. I've got to try this one on. Isn't that neat? I kind of like this. You know, sometimes Charming Charlie's surprises us. This is a very beautiful piece from Charming Charlie's. It's a wider crystal bracelet. And look at that. It looks like all of the crystals are there. It's got an adjustable clasp, the lobster clasp there. So look at that. I just love rhinestones. And this is a lovely piece. I wouldn't guess that it was from Charming Charlie's. Here's another organza bag in the lot, and I'm going to dump it out here. And it looks like we have some really pretty faux pearl. I think those, they're faux pearl. Chandelier style earrings, some dangles. These have some AB crystals, and they might be real pearls. I'm going to put the magnet to it just to check the metal content there. And let's see, let me bring this back into frame. Oh, look at that. They they may may not be sterling silver, but I will check it out. I'll put it on the screen if I found them to be sterling. Those are actually lovely. I like these. These are pretty. Here is a cute little skinny, very thin cuff bracelet. It's fashion piece and it has that little crystal heart and another heart on this side, smaller heart. That's pretty cute. And I'm going to find something else against to show you against this silver background <laughs> because that gray back, I mean, the gray background is great for silver pieces is what I meant to say. This is pretty funny. This is stamped queso and it feels just like a, almost like tin. I'm not sure what that material is, but it's real lightweight and it hangs on this chain that's in very good shape. And at the end, there's no brand name, but it does have a lobster clasp. So if you need a queso necklace, I think this one is the perfect one for you. Here's another cute little stretch bracelet. This one has baguettes on this pendant. It's slightly curved, silver tone, 
and it's strung on a stretchy with these round silver balls. Now, I'm sure this is handmade, but it's very pretty. I don't think that's sterling, but why don't I just take the magnet to it and make sure. Let's see this. Yep, there's some attraction there in those little silver balls and also in the pendant, but it still doesn't take away from its beauty in my opinion. I think that's very pretty. Now this is a vintage necklace. This is somewhat worn, might even just be dirty, but it definitely has some dirt that needs to come off. Some of that green patina or verdigris, I should say. Um, it does have a light gray crystals in between all these little leaf pendants. And here is what the chain looks like, which is very pretty. We've got the hook clasp and at the end there is no maker's mark on this so maybe it just will take a cleanup for this uh, but it's definitely vintage here's what the other side looks like by the way let's take a look at this necklace this is more of a delicate piece it's beaded and it reminds me of something you might find at anthropology this is a better way to see the beads. So we have carnelian, I believe there's iolite there, turquoise beads, and here's one that I believe is garnet. Isn't this beautiful? More iolite right there, and then it goes into lapis. It looks like some more garnet there. No, wait a minute, I can't see through this uh, camera. That might be amethyst. This is so pretty. More iolite, more carnelian, and this closure is so cute. So we've got this button closure. The end does have a leather, uh, leather ties for the loop for the button to go through. And there was something over here, a little heart charm, and it is stamped. NAJ925. Seems to me I have seen NAJ before, but I really don't remember what that is. Is it a brand or does it refer to the silver? This is a very special piece and depending on what I find about that NAJ, I wouldn't be surprised if this is something from anthropology. Here's an artisan necklace. It's, it's got some loose string there. You could see the way it's tied. It might have even broken and they just tied a knot there. But, having said that, I kind of like the colors on this. So, they, it, this one's made with glass beads, and it's got those, like, I've seen these called mermaid beads, where they have this glow to them. And um, so it's seed beads, and these glass beads, and then some red square plastic beads, and some shell beads in like an orangey peach color. And maybe it's just me, but there's something about this particular combination that I like. It might go in my own craft pile. I do have a little craft pile that one day I hope to go through and make my own unique pieces. So I'm not sure about this one. I might just snatch this one. This necklace has a loft logo. This is going in the craft pile. Cool pendant, but it, the chain is kind of worn and you could use that pendant for something else. A little bit of scratch on the back, but it doesn't affect the sparkle on the front. So that's going to go in craft. Here's another J. Crew piece. I love the pendant. Got ivory colored stones as well as the clear. And this is a frontal necklace. All the stones are there, and I love the chain on this one. These are kind of chunky ovals as well. I do like this pendant. It's very neutral. You could probably wear it with just about anything. And the gold tone chain, it does have a little bit of wear as you get to the back of the necklace. There is the classic spring clasp from J. Crew. This is a lovely piece. You know, I like most J. Crew pieces that I find, especially their necklaces. They have a very distinct style and I find them attractive. Here is a stretchy bracelet and this is made with, I don't know if you'd call that art glass, but they're cute. They're little flattened round beads with uh, blue and white dots all over and there are blue spacer beads in between. That's kind of cute. And the other glass one that I'm wearing, <laughs> 
uh, is just comprised of these very smooth uh, round beads and in different colors you can see and there's something very pure about this it's um, great components to add to a creation or you could restring that or at least trim that up there but it's very simple and the beads are pretty this is a bracelet that's a stretch bracelet. It's made with crystals and this one has the message believe on it. And this is made by a Little Words Project. Now I looked them up online. I've heard of them before. There's something that they do where you can register your bracelet when you buy it. It has to do with like empowering and supporting women, but it looks like the new ones go for between 10 and 20 bucks. I don't know what the market is for this used one, but it's cute. I do like these crystal beads on it a lot. Now here's a piece that is a statement bracelet. Here's a couple of focal beads that are like faux coral and they're multi-chain. they are different styles of chain in an antique gold tone. It's got some peach plastic faceted beads along with these cute little flower charms with a red crystal center. Isn't this cute? So it's a costume piece, no name on it. It's got a lobster clasp and I just find it very attractive. Here's a lovely artisan piece. This is made with real pearls. There are Biwa pearls, potato pearls, and they're all sort of a, it's three strands and they are all sort of crocheted onto this brown cord. Really lovely, love the earth tone colors. Here are the pearls up close, and you can see also the brown cord. This one does have a hook clasp, and it is marked. There's a little heart charm there. On this side of the heart charm, it's stamped with CL. On the other side of that charm is 925. I do believe it's an artisan piece, unless CL is a brand and a stamp that I've never seen before. And if you know, if, if it is, let me know in the comment section down below. In any case, it's a very pretty piece. This is adorable. This little pendant says we, oui, and it's gold tone. It's got a very delicate chain. And let me go up. I'm holding this card here. So you can see that it does have a lobster clasp and an extender and there's a tag there. On the other side of that tag is S and D, which is Stella and Dot. You might be able to see it better like this in my hand. There's the pendant and there's the sweet little chain, very delicate. And you know, this one is a beautiful gold tone. This looks like it's never been worn. It's in fabulous shape. It's a really sweet necklace. I'm definitely going to put that in the sale pile. This is a lovely two strand necklace. It would be best to show it on a long neck form, but I can't do that right now. So let's take a look at it laid flat here. Gorgeous gold tone chain, beautiful clear crystal rhinestones. We have baguettes. We have square crystals, pear shaped, teardrop shaped crystals. Gorgeous. Here's a closer look at that last pendant here and then you can see the chain as I go up. There are these little star stations, little charms, and then the chain changes to this skinny oblong square. So cute. So that's the length of the first strand. And then coming down from this strand is the second strand. Here's a look at the second strand with links of rhinestones. Again, a different style gold, gold tone chain. This, one's, this one is oval. So this is so pretty and has a lobster clasp. And I don't know if you recognize that, but I do. On the other side of that is Stella and Dot. Let me show you. There it is, Stella and Dot. So if you didn't know, on one side of the Stella and Dot tags is this little round charm with a crystal. And then on the other side, Stella and Dot. And there it is. It's just a pretty little thing. It doesn't do it justice the way it's laying here now on the table, but it's a lovely, lovely piece. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments section. Subscribe if you haven't. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.